What's going on people? Welcome back to Blues Fan CB. Welcome back to another video. Now, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to try a little combined 11 for Chelsea versus Manchester United. I'm actually going to try to be the unbiased one here. So I've got Alex here to represent Chelsea. I've got Rance here to represent Manchester United. First place, let's start off and go on. I know it's already going to be tasty because it's Kepa v De Gea. It's the argument that we've always that Spain's been having for the last year and a half now. All I'm going to say is Spain picks Kepa. Yeah, Kepa's rubbish, bruv. You know what I mean? As much as De is not on form, Kepa's rubbish, isn't it? So it must be, if De is not getting picked, it's definitely political. It's definitely political. Maybe his girl said something or something because Kepa's rubbish, isn't it, bruv? And I think Chelsea fans are even a side-eye in your goalkeeper. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't believe in Kepa. I think he's he'll go down as a flop of a signing. What is it? What, eight, 70-odd million? 70 million, but he's still on a six-year contract. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, the geezer's 70 million for that. No, no. Well, you still weren't even impressed then with his first season. That's where he got, like, the third highest clean sheets in the league. Yeah, but... Do you know what I mean? You know what? Clean sheets, a lot of the time, come down to the unit. Do you know what I mean? That's that as a whole, the back five. It's not just the goalkeeper. Yeah, but a, lot, a, lot of the, a lot of the Hayes clean sheets have come down to him making bloody ten saves. Like he's got the most he's got the save record, but when we played Tottenham, when we beat them one nil, shit house them at Wembley, he made something like twelve saves like in a game that's never been done before. Like the Hayes actually earned them clean sheets, innit? Like I don't see Kepa putting in Man of the match performances for you lot. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I don't think, yeah, I don't I think that that was down to because we had some dodgy defense last season. Marcus Alonso at left back, Luis and Rudiger in defence. <laughs> yeah, for, for sure. Either. But Kepa, like for me, he can't he can't sit at the table with David de Gea, man. Not for me. No way. Chinos, you want to <sighs> say something? Try and back him up. <laughs> see, here's the thing. I, I look at Kepa and I see a goalkeeper who's had a little bit of a difficulty adjusting to Premier League, like De Gea, in his first couple of seasons. Look, I mean, first season he was exceptional. I mean, you know, the amount of clean sheets he kept, the amount of times he kept Chelsea, you know, in the games at times, especially, obviously, this season too. But I think, I think the difference is this season we've been constantly rotating that back line. That, that communication with the back line is the main problem here. And so he just doesn't know really who to communicate with. It's constantly rotating. And so I think, you know, I'm going to have to go with De Gea based on that because obviously, you know, the back line is consistent there. Not going to lie, it's the wrong time to try and defend Kepa in it. So yeah, let's just dash De Gea in there. Right back. Now this one I this won. Is hard, this mate. one I won. Reese James versus Wan Bissaka. I'm packing Reese James in there. This is hard because for, for me, yeah, like Wan Bissaka is more experienced and for me, He's better. However, I think Reese James, in terms of talent, I think Reese James is more talented than him, innit? I'd pick Wan Bissaka because I think Wan Bissaka is better. But I do think that Reese James' ceiling's higher, innit? I believe that he will be a better right back than Wan Bissaka and Trent, probably in about two seasons. But I don't think he's there now, innit? So if I had to pick a team now, I'm picking Wan Bissaka, but only on that. Do you know what I mean? But ability wise, I can see why you men are excited by him. Like, I'd love. I'd love to have him. That's do you know what I mean? Here's the thing. I guess statistically, yeah. Wan-Bissaka's probably got better stats than Reese James right now. But Reese James only really started breaking into the team a couple months ago. But this is so it. that's why I'm still saying I'd push Reese James in this. I'm trying to be unbiased in this, but I'm going to leave it to Wan-Bissaka you. Wan-Bissaka has to start, but I understand why you're excited about Reese James, innit? Like, I don't think he's there yet, but all the signs tell me that I think he's going to be the best right back that England have probably in about two years, bro. Like, that's how highly I rate him, innit? Because Trent great um, crosser of the ball yeah but you can get at him going the other way Reese James looks better going that way do you know what I mean and his delivery looks as good bro do you know what I mean trust me Reese James got it all yeah. on both sides yeah. that's what we've been missing yeah. on that right hand yeah. side yeah. Alex yeah. what are you saying I think Reese James in terms of the crossing is definitely better on the offence he's definitely better than uh, Juan Bissaka on defensive side though I feel like I've looked at everything I've looked at stats and all that and I think Juan Bissaka has been the better player so it depends on what sort of player are you looking for are you looking for someone who's good in the offence or good in defence or both and the problem is I can't pick either because you know they're they're two different types of players, really. In like, so who situation, I'd love them both to play. Do you know what I mean? Because both of our left backs are crap. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I was about to say I'll give you left back if you give us Reese James, but I don't even know. We could play Reese James at left back then, because I'm because Luke Shaw, I'll begrudgingly pick that guy, bro. I don't want him anywhere near the I mean, team. We'll be begrudging <laughs> with Alonso or Emerson, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Right, so what are we doing? Are we gonna? Are we actually gonna put both on we either side play, or what? Do that. Play, play Reese James on left back because he's young, innit? He'll play left back. Aye, fuck it. All right, then we got Reese James on the left and we got Wan Bissaka on the right because we can't decide. Centre back now. Oh, we got two dodgy defenses. Yeah, but I like 
I don't know, out of all your centre backs, I'd take Rudiger, bruv. Like, I would, because he's better than bloody um, Lindelof, bruv. Lindelof is shocking, bruv. Even over Tomori, though, because I think Tomori's better than I like Tomori, son. but, like, I don't know. Like, with Tomori, it's like, I still feel like he's young, and do you know what I mean? He's not quite found his feet yet. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah. I think Harry Maguire's got to play because it's Harry Maguire, but even he's, I'm looking at him a bit like. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a weird one for me right now. Defense, right? defense is tough for all Yeah, players. I think Harry Maguire plays and then it's who partners him. If you say Tomori, you watch your team more than you watch mine. All I know is whoever you pick is going to be better than Ninda. I know that. Right, so I think we've got at least one player lined up in Rudik. I don't, in... I don't agree with Maguire at all. If you look at his stats, they're both the same, Tomori and Maguire. And if you look at the age, I mean, Tomori has obviously not played as much as Maguire. But if, if the stats are very similar and... <laughs> And the guy has played less, then, then it doesn't tell the, though. doesn't tell the full story, though. It doesn't tell the full story because how I like to look at stats here yeah, is like minutes played. It's like when you look at how many goals yeah, a player okay. scored. It's how many goals have you scored per 90 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Or that, that's what it is. Because you look at Mason Greenwood, yeah. I think he's got like 11 goals or something like that. But when you see minutes played, it's he's only he hasn't even played four full matches worth of minutes. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's impressive. Do you know what I mean? So it really depends on how many minutes you played in that. But I would say that, from what I've seen of Tomori, he looks very good. He looks very promising. Again, like Reese James. Been composed he looks very, match, very, very promising. But are we picking it on the level that these men are currently at or what their potential is? Do you know what I mean? All I know is the second centre-back slot, you can have it. That's all I know. So you could choose. Well, all I can say <laughs> is that yeah. Tomori is definitely our best centre-back. Yeah, Rüdiger is second place yeah, for that. Yeah, then it's all English centre-back. You've got all English back line though. That's what it is. We, we move with that, Tamori, yeah, okay. Tamori and Maguire. All right, cool. Let's move. Let's that. move into midfield. Midfield. This will be. This will be very interesting as well. Are we adding injured players to this? No. Okay, no. cool. So we got Pogba out of this argument Fred then. Fred and Kante. Kante's got to be in there. Fred, no, yeah, yeah. no. Fred Kante and Jorginho. Kante and Jorginho. I don't even think Kante and Jorginho should play in the same team. I think that they both stifle each other. That's one for you lot, bro. Really? Yep. Okay, go on, build it. Because, bro, Jorginho, Kante likes to be the deepest player in midfield, and so does Jorginho. That's the difference. Jorginho likes to pick up the ball off the centre half, bro. That's where he does his damage. But Kante yeah. prefers to drive forward with no, the ball. No, but Kante likes to, no, Kante likes to drive forward without the ball, bro. Kante will get ahead of play, but Kante doesn't dribble with the ball. His dribbling's terrible. You've seen Kante on the really? ball. Bro, you can't dribble. I, how many times has Kante picked up the ball and go past, man? It don't happen often. That's why when it does, people... I've, I've seen it happen. Nah, Kante's not a dribbler. Like, Pogba's someone who picks up the ball and drives past players. Kante runs, but a lot of the time, he does most of his running without the ball. Kante don't carry the ball like that. And if he does, he carries it in space. It's not really the same. He's not going to hurt you with the ball at his feet, Kante. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And okay. that's what it is. Kante is kind of like... He could play in a two. But in a free, you probably want Kante as your deepest player. Like as a box-to-box -box midfielder, he ain't got a killer ball really in him. He ain't got a killer ball in him. Do you know what I mean? He's not gonna hit one from 25 yards. Do you know what I mean? Like you kind of Kante is one of them ones where like in your deepest, you want him as your deepest player. Do you know what I mean? When you look when he played for Leicester, do you know what I mean? He deepest player. Do you know what I mean? So for me, like Kante and Jorginho together. I, I think it, it doesn't really, the balance don't look well, bruv. When Kante was playing in a more advanced role, like under um, your last manager. Sorry. Yeah, he scored more goals, but actually his overall effectiveness in the game, he didn't look like the same player, bro. He was popping up in different areas, but he didn't look natural. He didn't look comfortable in that position to me. And he didn't look like he was enjoying it. So, I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Very debatable. That, then, oh, okay. But I think to me then, we'll have to go for Jorginho and Kovacic. Because Kovacic carries the ball. So uh, what, you fully drop Kante? I mean, to be honest, if I look at it, I mean, if I have to choose between Jorginho and Kante, I have to choose Jorginho because his passing and playmaking abilities and his leadership mentality is definitely critical for, for a big oh, side. I so team on balance. I would pick Jorginho and Fred because Jorginho can pass better than all, all of our midfielders apart from Pogba and Pogba's not fit. For me, you need a deep lying player that can pass. That's what United don't have at the moment. Like, that's why I want someone like a Ruben Neves or something because we need someone that can pick up the ball and play it forward. It shouldn't have to be Pogba picking it up off the back line. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, I honestly think that, like, if we we're talking about balance, because for me, Fred plays, isn't it? He's our most informed midfielder, and we got Bruno Fernandes, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? And in terms of goal scoring midfielders, he's better than, well, you lot don't have a goal scoring midfielder, do you? Loftus cheap, but he's been out all season, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? So, for me, like, a lot of people will be screaming, Kante's got to play. I know Fred's got to play, but for me, in balance, I'd probably play Jorginho and Fred. I would, so. 
Right, it's Alex, tough. up to you. Because I'm playing me, unbiased. Because to me, it's tough because I haven't seen Fred play. I don't know what he offers. I can't really say anything bad about him. But if, if I have to go on balance, it has to be Jorginho and Kovacic because obviously Jorginho collects the ball deep and play, obviously really Kovacic is that box-to-box -box midfielder that creates the spaces, that lays it off to, to the forwards, really. So if Fred does exactly that, if that's what you're saying, then basically, yeah, then we'll have to go for Jorginho and Fred. So we're going Jorginho, Fred and Kovacic in the midfield. Yeah, let's do that. You can you can argue Kovacic only because he's been in the Premier League longer than Bruno. Bruno's only played one game. You know what I mean? By and, exactly. and but when you look at Kovacic, I thought, yo, this is gonna be a great signing. I don't know if he's had the impact for you that you thought he was gonna have. Do you know what I'm saying? He's had a better impact than what we saw for last season. Yeah. So I'll give him that. That's what I mean. But for me, in terms of ability, there's no doubt Bruno Fernandez, but I ain't seen the Bruno Fernandez who sport in Lisbon at Manchester United. He's only played one game. So if you wanna put Kovacic in there, I won't argue that. Right, so we'll go for Fred, Kovacic and Jorginho. Now, yeah. let's move into the attack. The attack's going to be an interesting one. First one, let's go left side. We can't even put Pulisic in there because Pulisic is injured. Oh, we so can't put we'll, we'll put injured Martial as well. there. We'll put Martial So, there. Martial versus Willian. Yeah, it has to be Martial. Yeah. Yeah. go on the right and Abraham could go up front. Yeah, Tammy has to go up front. No, 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 Tammy up front, yeah, but Martial we're talking left wing. Martial's the only attacker that gets, in, gets into the team, bro. Martial on the left, Tammy up in the middle. Actually, and someone else on the right, bro. Nah, I'm not having us in a doy, bro. Not the time. I can't even lie. I'm not having us in a doy. Not the time. You know what I mean? Like, so what, I'll have him on Instagram, do you know what I mean? But not in real life, bro. Like, I'm not impressed. Nah, for Hudson Doy, I still think it's too early coming yeah, off that Achilles yeah. injury. Give him a bit of time. But so are we putting Martial on the left side or are we putting yeah, him up side. front? Left, left side. And yeah. then up front, who are we putting up? Tammy has to play down the middle. He has to. What's he got, like 11, 12 goals or something? This thing, Agarlo ain't been about yeah, either, yeah, so we can't yeah, really put him into this spec. I, I couldn't put Agarlo in the starting eleven with a straight face, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's just fresh off a plane. I don't even know if he's fit, so I don't really know. Like, I saw him training with like some taekwondo Olympic flipping coach or something. What is this, man? Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what this is. So, I'll tell you what, actually, if Rashford was fit, would you put him over Abraham? Not up front, no. Not up front. I, Tammy's a better striker than Marcus. You know what I mean? But I just but from the left, Marcus is a different animal. Isn't it? So yeah, but um, yeah, Martial from the left. All right, last last position, right wing. We got right wing. We're going to go so Hudson Odoi. We don't have William a, as well. We don't have William. a right winger. I'd play William there. We don't have a right sided player. Not Greenwood, defending Greenwood's James. Greenwood's not going to start. I think James is rubbish, and Greenwood's not going to start. So um, yeah, Daniel James ain't better than William. Come on. Do you know what I mean? Even like a half fit Willian's better than Daniel James. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't have that. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. Okay, interesting. We'll take William for right side. Let's go through the starting eleven one more time. So we got De Gea in goal, Wan Bissaka on the right, Tamori Maguire in defence, Reese James on the left because none of us are picking a left back. In <laughs> midfield, we got Fred Kovacic and Jorginho. Yeah. And up front, it's. Martial, Tammy and William. Yeah. Right, guys, that's our combined 11 for Chelsea versus Manchester United. Let us know whether you agree or disagree with any of the decisions I've made or any of the players that have added down in the down in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out CFC Alex. Don't forget to check out Rants on United Stand and on his personal channel as well. Don't forget to check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Let's hope we get the three points. Up the Chelsea.